Indian Railways has embarked on its spectacular journey of moving India to the epitome of economy and cultural unity in the year 1853 with the first passenger train running between Boribandar to Thane. Ever since, it has grown into a true unifier of the nation crossing not just boundaries but bridging plethora of cultures. Moving a whopping 830 crores of passenger and 130 billion tons of freight annually over a sprawling spread of 64,000 kilometers with 30 lakh employees working relentlessly, Indian Railways is true pride of nation. Carved up into 17 zones, further into 68 divisions, the beauty lies in its synchronized working between these divisions which form the cogs of this gigantic wheel. Standing tall amongst the divisions, having a credential of sixth highest earning divisions is the Valtir Division. Headquartered in the beautiful city of destiny, Vishakhapatnam, spanning three states along Koramandal coast, commenced its first operations under state-owned East Coast Railway in 1893, later became part of Bengal Nagpur Railway and eventually South Eastern Railway and finally part of East Coast Railway in 2003. With mix of goods and passenger traffic sections, its major passenger corridor comprised of 213 kilometers Duwada Palasa section on Howrah Chennai trunk route and 139 kilometers Vijayanagaram Raigada section. The 446 kilometers Kottavarasa Kirindul single line connecting Bailadilla iron ore mines with major ports is most precious goods corridor of Valtair division. Reckoned for its breathtaking views, highly rugged mountainous terrain with steep gradients and curves, 56 tunnels, 87 major and 1236 minor bridges, KK line is indeed an engineering marvel, connecting the pristine tribal dominant districts to the mainstream passing through challenging mountainous terrain, 173 kilometers Koraput Rayagada line also serves goods and passenger traffic. Walter Division is spread over 1100 kilometers. Walter Division has been a predominantly freight oriented division since its inception. With humble beginning of carrying few tons of originating traffic, now it increased multifolds to 56 million tons per annum. The division caters to major industries like Nalco, Wysak Steel Plant, NTPC, Utkal, JK Paper and many more. On passenger front, handling nearly 200 coaching trains per day, carrying 36 million passengers annually safely, achieving high earnings and performance index ratio of 35.21%. Walter Division has proven its metal and might in all gamuts. To keep in pace with its consistent performance and to keep itself abreast with spearheading times are its two armaments. Asia's largest diesel loco shed and a major electric loco shed. Starting with mere 13 locos in 1965, the diesel loco shed now holds 320 locos and can handle 32 locos at a time. Serving the needs of goods and coaching of this division bagged five prestigious ISO certificates. Electric loco shed commenced in 1982 with 30 locos now holds 279 locos to meet ever increasing needs of the division. ELS has been acknowledged for its innovative steps adopted with Prime Minister's Shram Seva Award. Adding another jewel to its crown is the massive rail network called Walter Marshalling Yard established in 1967 which handles 150 trains per day to various destinations catering needs of major ports. Equipped with modern infrastructural facilities, Coach Care Centre commenced in 2006 takes care of maintenance of 480 coaches per day to service 22 express and 8 passenger trains 
For safety is not a gadget, but a state of mind is what every man of Walter Division strongly believes in. This conscience and untiring efforts have now resulted into Walter Division being unmanned level crossing free division with all its 273 LC gates converted into either manned or provided with subways. To further enhance safety, 43 non-interlocking works, improvement of goods sheds, yard remodeling, GPS devices to patrolmen in crucial locations, modern signaling system have been done. Above all, we salute our patrolmen who guard the frontiers of rail, forging their comfort, treading the difficult paths in pitches of dark, letting passengers a pleasant sleep. Beginning with mere two platforms and a small shelter for elite passengers, the amenities at railway stations over Walter Division developed many folds. Raising height of platforms, providing platform shelters, construction of footover bridges, drinking water facilities, seating arrangements, AC, non-AC waiting halls, retiring rooms, dormitories, lifts, escalators at majority of stations for the convenience of senior citizens and the younger. Mechanized laundry was set up for supply of clean linen, world-class food coats, pet bottle crushers and biocompost green bins. Refreshing launch, first of its kind over railways, are other facilities provided for the convenience of passengers. With the state-of-art equipment, 154-bedded Railway Main Hospital caters the needs of the railway employees of the division. Walter Division achieved 100% energy efficiency by replacing all the conventional lights with LED lighting at 112 railway stations. The four service buildings were powered with rooftop solar PV systems, generating 1 megawatt power and saving 22.5 lakhs per annum. Time and again, Walter Division has always put in best efforts to tap the immense tourism potential it has, one of which is the introduction of the first glass dome tourist coach by Indian Railways between Vishakhapatnam, Arako, the Uti of Andhra passing through world famous Bora Caves, which always runs pack. These efforts earned dividend with it being conferred best tourist friendly railway station in 2017 in Andhra Pradesh. During its journey of 125 years, Walter Division has earned many rewards and recognitions and has seen milestones like world-class sports infrastructure with modern facilities and its sports fraternity got national and international accolades has been a trendsetter in construction of limited height subways, record time construction of damaged bridge number 249 in 58 days in difficult terrain got appreciation from all corners of country. Recognized for its commitment to government policy of Swatch Rail, Swatch Bharat, Vishakhapatnam Railway Station ranked number one slot in Swachhata ranking 2017 by Quality Council of India. Also bagged prestigious Safaigiri Award 2018 for best cleanest station over Indian Railways by India Today Group. To top it all, despite natural calamities and miscrescent activities posing an obstacle, ever since Walter Division has always overcome these hurdles and stood undeterred disruption of train services. On this day of turning 125 years, the journey to reckon had never been an easy one. For calm seas never make skilled sailors. Storms did smack us, but we learned to jib to new methods. Boulders did move us, but we learned to break them. Target did quake us, but learned to tame them. The credit for which goes to countless efforts of great railwaymen who have revered the cause more dearer than the result with promising clear and who have envisioned dreams so exciting, never failing their duties. On this day, we thank 
all those great railway men and salute all the unsung heroes who have been a part of 125 years of glorious journey the journey goes on <laughs>